Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be doing a, a very special announcement, as well as the book dating hi history tag. Let's get into the video. I was tagged by Laura by Let's Get Fictional. And or some Let's Get Fictional, but regardless. Before I get into the tag, I, I have a very special announcement video. For the Emo Reads Book Tag? For the Emo Reads Book Tag? Emo Reads Book Tag. Emo Reads Book Club. And I'm going to be doing a live stream at the end of the month at 11.30 my time. So if you guys want to take part in the live stream for, for Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. Of course, the week... The, the link to the Discord, if you have a Discord, is always down below if you guys are ever interested in checking it out. Feel free to suggest any books that we could read, potentially read it when we're done with the when we're done with the Sherlock Holmes series, if you're reading the second book in the series, etc. Just keep in mind, it is very spoilery based. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Now let's get into the book dating history tag. First prompt is first loves. What is the book that, that was your first love? I would have to say either Abiyoyo or the Magic Trio series. I will leave the, my childhood favorites in the, in the card so you can check that out. Check that video out whenever you feel like doing so. Question number two is outside your genre. Name a book that's outside your genre. Outside of your genre. Name name your favorite genre. Name a book that you really like outside of your outside your genre. I would have to say one of my favorites is Paranormal Romance because of the League trilogy. One that's out of my genre is sci-fi. Or at least I was reading On the Edge of God. By Tor Torin Davis. Because of it having autism representation in it. I'll leave CC's channel. Question number three is catfishing. What book catfished you? Was it good or bad? The Kiss Quotient. Please take my opinion with a grain of salt. I know there are those people who absolutely love that book. Bullets. Bullets. For me personally, I am not the biggest fan of the Kiss Quotient because I there was a lot of stuff I didn't know while while going into it between when I read it like a little when I between when I read it in like 2018 2019 and now I just I didn't know that, that it was in the adult genre and I didn't know at that time I did not know that there was own voices Vietnamese representation in it at that time when I was initially reading it there was a lot of things I didn't know about it that's kind of my main reasoning why I didn't personally mesh well with it. Question number four is, does size really matter? What matters more to you? The length of the book, the oh, the ocean of emotion. Honestly, I don't really care. I'm not really 100% sure what ocean of emotion means unless unless you really get emotional a lot. I don't really understand that phrasing of it that too much and I don't really get that emotional. If I remember correctly, I haven't really gotten emotional over books yet, or at least as far as I'm aware. Question number five is out of out of your league. Name a book that's out of your league, but you want it for anywhere. A mix of the Kiss Quotient and, and the Dead Zone. I, I'm a, a hell of a lot more interested in the Dead Zone than the Kiss Quotient. Question number six is Kiss, Marry, Kill. Name three bo books that you would ki kiss, marry, and kill. I would definitely kill either the, the Right Swipe or the Kiss Quotient. Um, I would marry either Queens of Geek, Abioya, probably the Unhoneymoon, and I would and I would probably i would probably i don't know what book i would kiss question number seven is the the ex you can't let go of what book do you do you keep going back to either the lake trilogy or the, or queens of geek bad boy or girl name in the book that bad boy or girl on your bookshelf i have no idea probably probably a legion because i know that that there's a lot of people who absolutely hate that book but because of the stuff that happens but honestly when I read it, I kind of agree with Grace from G from G Swizzle, from G Swizzle book. I do not understand what that question mean and question number 10 is let's get nosy tag three or more people and let th and let them spill the tea on their book book dating history If anyone else or 
or whatever many people that I tag would like to do it, feel free to do so. I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye guys. Yes, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing the book dating, the book dating history tag. And I also have a very special announcement for the, relating to the Emo Reed book club, so let's get into the video. As I, as I said, I am, um, I was, for the book tag, I was tagged by Laura from Laura's, I, her name's not, her YouTube name is not Laura Laura anymore, but, um, yeah. <laughs> 